James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is August 21st, 2023, 6 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that we're being hit by space weather right here. Good high to mid-latitude auroras possible. Small geomagnetic storm here, almost going up to the mid-latitude aurora here at 12 UTC time, which was last night about 4 in the morning. And that was our last big spike, although we've had several more today. We have solar winds that are way out of control, considering that we've had no coronal holes earth-facing. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at these auroras that tell the tale. Let's take a look at the KP index that refuses to tell the tale. All right, if you all remember, Noah called for nothing stronger than a 3.0 for three hours today. Nothing else the rest of the week. We did pick up six hours of geomagnetic disturbance, KP4 on the college index. Always more accurate than most of the others. The estimated planetary index picked up nothing. That's the brand new model we just paid millions for that NOAA and NASA use. Nothing seen on the Fredericksburg or Boulder KP index, but we're actually being hit with solar winds that are well over 500 kilometers per second, which in fact should be a solar storm period by itself. Now, this is the Geophysics Institute in Alaska. And we can quickly see here, all night last night, it got green. You'll see right about now, everything turns green all night long. We had auroras reported all night long. Even at lower latitudes, you can see how crisp it is over just Alaska here. And it lasts for so many hours. you got to realize how quick those clouds are moving. And the aurora borealis does not move. Constant radiation feeding into the north and south pole here. But we have no warning. Now, we do see that solar winds are out of control. But where did they come from? They didn't come from a crawl hole. The only thing that's supposed to cause solar winds. Just so we all know we're on the same page. Show me a coronal hole earth facing here on GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. There has not been one. Period. Now let's see how strong those solar winds really are. Now quickly before we take a look at the incredibly fast solar winds hitting earth currently. That should have been produced by a coronal hole that is non-existent. We look at their KP forecast index breakdown from August 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. You can see that nothing was expected today whatsoever. Nothing's expected tomorrow whatsoever. They've had some threes to this, but they're expecting no solar weather whatsoever. Why do we have Aurora Borealis all around the planet? I've got many pictures sent in by subscribers as well. So jumping over to discover real-time solar winds, we see that one hour is missing. Lost our shields for about an hour and a half here, along with about 15 minutes here. Hard to explain. Plasma is very light, guys. Started the day in the ones, didn't really do much. Never came anywhere near 10, but look at solar winds. They started the day out at over 600 kilometers per second. But where did it come from? We see spikes here to 662. All the way back down to 573 to another spike up here to 667. And then all the way down here to 529. Another spike up here, 680. Of course, this is not from our sun. This is from a whole another source of energy. Where would we possibly be seeing solar winds at close to 700 kilometers per second? And then jumping down, missing data. They didn't know what to do there, right? Into the 600 still. We'll see what they actually guesstimated. It's laughable. All of this is completely laughable. 626, we can jump right down to 536. We're talking about 100 kilometers per second difference. Each one kilometer per second is over 2,240 miles an hour. And then bouncing right back up over 600 here. We won't care. Uh, 
and then back down to 550 and then over 600 right here and back down to 540 and then these are not as excessive but we've been hit by very strong solar winds almost 700 kilometers per second and we didn't even see a geomagnetic disturbance on our kp index or one up here as well in any type of crossover so they're showing us the winds are hitting us we're seeing the aurora borealis but you know what everyone seems to be silent about this what was this caused by what's going on here we don't see a coronal hole that was earth facing two days ago they're expecting more more aurora borealis tonight let me show you guys that all right this is our aurora borealis forecast you can see that it tries to reach into the u.s here and it's a coming again tonight obviously we have solar weather solar winds for sure hitting earth all right ladies and gentlemen it's time to see how they did we just paid tens of millions of dollars for this wsa annual prediction center upgrade 3.0 now i didn't see any coral holes earth facing did they today's the 21st they have not been in the office since last thursday and if we take a look at solar winds, they have them starting the day just below 400 kilometers per second. Now, remember, we've been over 600 kilometers per second most all the day. And they have them ending at about 400 kilometers per second. You'd have to give them an F minus. Uh, they were about half the speed as to what they really came in at. How is this possible? We just built this brand new prediction center. We have hundreds of people and staff working. And we're building them a new building for another $54 million. Again, we just paid for this 3.0 WSA Inlo Prediction Center, and it did nothing for us. Uh, we know that we started plasma out at 1 today. They've got plasma up here at 5 and going higher to 6. None of that happened either. No one's been in the office for almost a week now. I wish that we had any type of recourse. These government agencies are completely out of control. We're definitely being hit by solar weather currently. And we can all prove that by going outside if we live in the northern hemisphere and taking pictures up to the north. Many times your cameras will pick up these aurora borealises when your eyes can't do the work. God bless you guys. Take some pictures. Email them in for tonight's show. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World. God bless.